it is Thursday, December the 20th, five days until Christmas. And that is really, really crazy. Really, if we don't count today, it's 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Really four days. I am, I think ready for the most part. I do wanna buy a couple gift cards. So I need to go get those today. My plan of attack, I can't, I can't wait till tomorrow to catch up on some sleep and not have an alarm wake me up. I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait for that. Cause even like on the weekends, I feel like we've had stuff to do where we've woken up early. I don't know. I just can't wait for this Christmas break for my kids. Sienna just left, it is 7.35 a.m. Sienna just left for school, Cody took her. And then I'm going to take Skylar at 11 to kindergarten. I'm like trying to think out my day. Me and Jet then are gonna to go to the store to buy gift cards. And then after I do that, uh, we are gonna drop Jet off at school. And then I have to go back to Sienna and Skylar's school to help in Sienna's classroom. But I'm also gonna stop in Skylar's classroom because they have Christmas parties. And then we are going to leave there and probably stop back home, pick up Blue, take him for a car ride, and go get Jet, and then come back and rejoice that it is almost finally Christmas break. Jet still has school tomorrow, but the girls don't, and he doesn't start school until the afternoon, so we can still sleep in and stuff. But I wanted to update you guys on how my Thursday is gonna go. I still need to, A, I need to pay my credit card bill, and B, I need to make a click list order. So those are my two pressing things this morning. Hi, bud. All right. In the window. Today Not is bad. gonna be one of those days where I'm just a chicken for its head cut off. So I like try to compare it to having a bunch of web browsers open on your internet screen and not closing any of them. I have like 25 things going on and I'm not closing anything, so I'm hoping to have some closure today on some of this stuff. We, right now, it's 11.13, I've gotta go. Are dropping Skylar off at school. Cody surprised me with the fact that he wants me to bake. Hey, Jack, put your seatbelt on before we go any further. He wants me to bake his guys a box of cookies again this year. I did it last year, and the reason why I wasn't planning on doing it this year is because last year he didn't give, I don't think he gave any of them to his guys. He did the year before and his guys loved it. They like sent me a picture of them all holding it. He wants me to do that again, which is fine. Wish I had a little bit more ample notice than a day before, but we will get it done. So we're gonna drop Skylar off at school, and then I'm going to run to the store to pick up the ingredients that I need. I was gonna do a delivery, but I have to go to the store anyway, because when I chose delivery, they didn't have any boxes for me to put the cookies in. So I'm gonna have to go into a store. So I figured I would just, I would just go ahead and go shopping like a normal person inside of a store. Uh, today is gonna be so hectic that I wanted to kind of explain to you how the date was gonna go before I go any further because there might be some instances where I'm not recording anything. So, here's how the day is gonna go. We're dropping Skylar off at school. Me and Jet are gonna go to the store and get cookie stuff. And then we're gonna drop Jet off at school. Then we're gonna come back to Sienna and Skylar's school help out at their Christmas parties, pick them up, take them out of there. Then we have 45 minutes until we have to go get Jet. I think I kind of explained this this morning, minus the cookies, because I didn't know I was gonna have to do that. And then we'll come back home and we will get straight away baking. So, this should be a rather fun vlog, well, considering I wasn't. Well, will I be home when you're baking? Yep, yep. Everybody will be there. Yep, you'll be there. You'll help me. We'll have a lot to do. All right. Let's drop Skylar off first. Love you. Love you too? Yeah, Jane Hart. Always be in my heart. Hi. Hey, Skylar. Oh. You need your bag? You probably need this. We were at the grocery. I thought what we would do is 
You turn it down. Thank you. I thought what we would do is we're going to do a little experiment. So I put all of the items that I needed inside my Kroger cart for delivery. And I decided instead of going to Meyer, which I find a comparable grocery chain to Kroger, is I would go to Aldi. And we are going to do my Christmas cookie shopping at Aldi. And then I'm going to compare the prices because I left it in the cart so I know what my total is going to be plus tip, plus delivery charges. But we're gonna see if Aldi is truly a lot cheaper than the other two. So we'll see. All right, let's go inside and go Christmas cookie shopping. There's also a couple other things that I need to pick up. So we're gonna see uh, if they have those items too. All right, we got a few things so far. Most of which are not anywhere close on my list. We are now out of Aldi. I also stopped in Party City and got little favor boxes because Aldi, they had the Ziploc containers, which I could have just slapped a bow on. That's just as good, but I got the cute little containers with some ribbon to tie around it. So I will be excited tonight to make cookies. Now, my total from Aldi was $112. My total from Kroger's was $136. I did not, however, I got a lot more stuff, like stuff that I didn't have on Kroger's website, like the Instacart website, like bacon. I got two things of sausage. I got two boxes of cookies that are pre-made that my kids can decorate. Well, I got candy, like Christmas candies. There's just a lot of stuff that I got that wasn't even in my cart. Uh, dish pods. So that is the difference right there. I'm going to say probably... When you add it all up, I saved $50 just by making the trip to Aldi. Plus I got my boxes, which Kroger's didn't have. So now we are on our way. We are rushing to get to preschool, it's 1235. His class starts in 10 minutes, but we're about five minutes away. So we are just killing it so far. And then what I will do once I drop him off is drop off the refrigerated items and then go to my daughter's school because I need to be there by one for their Christmas parties. All right, we are just trucking along. If I don't make it home, I might just keep, because I put all of my refrigerated items in the same bag. There's only like four things. One of it's shredded cheese, which could sit out potentially for an hour, but I think that's fine. Because I don't think I'm gonna have time now that I think about it to go home. Yeah. All right, let's drop Chad off. Blah. Are you ready for school? Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay. Did I miss off? Oh, it's right here. I missed it. Jet is now dropped off. We are on our way to go to the classroom parties. It is 12.47. I need to be there at 1. I'm hoping I can stop and get something to drink before I go. I wish there was a Starbucks drive through on the way. There's one right over there, but it just got built. I'm not so sure that it's even open yet. That one would have been perfect. But I do have a Dunkin' Donuts. I just don't, I feel like it just never had a latte. That's what I feel like. And I'm not so sure I want to go inside Target. Maybe Kroger. I don't even know if I want to go inside Kroger. We'll see. I want to stop and get a drink first though. I have decided instead of getting a coffee drink, I'm just gonna run inside this Marathon gas station. Actually, I need gas. I need gas, but I don't feel like getting it right now. Uh, we'll get that later. I'm just gonna run inside here and get like Mountain Dew. If you're wondering, here's what I got. We are now at school. I'm gonna go inside and see what I can help with. It is 12.58. We are now out of school and my kids are officially, well two out of the three, are officially on Christmas break. I can't wait till tomorrow when we get to sleep in and not have a care in the world until we have to take Jet to school and then we'll watch his little Christmas concert. 
I love this day. So we came and picked up Blue. It is now time to go get Jeff from school. And then we're just one step closer to our baking extravaganza, which I'm really excited for. All right, let's see how Jet's day is going. How was your school day? Good. Blue's really excited to see you. So we are back. We are here, back from school pickups. Two out of the three, I'll be really excited for tomorrow. But we are gonna get our bake on because Cody requested, like I told you guys before, he requested some baked good boxes for his guys that I did two years ago. I have peppermint bark to make, regular bark to make. I have sugar cookies. I have rollers to put inside the sugar cookies. I have avalanche cookies to make. We have a whole bunch of fudge. We have these to make, but I'm first gonna set my kids up with this. These ornament cookie kits were $4.99. They come with eight cookies and some pre-made icing. So we are going to have my kids decorate, decorate their cookies while I get kind of a game plan together because I'm not really sure exactly how this is gonna go down, but we will see. Oh my gosh, it feels like snow. Oh yeah, there's a snow. Look at these. This one's built. Do you want to do two of them? Maybe um, you do one of these and you do one of those? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, this one's built. Yeah. Mommy, can you help me? Nope. So I have on my comfy pajamas. I have on my robe. I have my hair pulled up. I have the oven preheated. I think we're ready to bake. What I'm going to do next is get my original list and write down everything that we're going to make so I can just check it off. And I think I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way, work my way down. If I can find my original list, I think it's in the car somewhere. But this is like my, here it is, my element. I'll tell you what we're about to do. First, we're gonna do the peppermint bark, which, is really, 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 really simple. It's just, you melt white chocolate and then you put Andy's crumbs on top. I'll show you the ingredients, then I'll show you the finished product. And then we'll work on some fudge. For this, all you need is a 24 ounce thing of the vanilla almond bark and some whatever mints. I'm gonna use Andy's mints and just sprinkle it on top, but you also can use crushed peppermint. I'm gonna heat this actually in the microwave and then we're gonna pour it into this pan and then we're gonna put these mints right on top. I'll show you when it's all done. Peppermint bark is now going into the freezer. This is going to freeze until it freezes. It doesn't take long, maybe 20, 30 minutes. All right, let me put this in here. I really love this stuff. I just put it in a microwave bowl. That's how I just did the white chocolate. We were going to do the milk chocolate now and get that X off our list. While the chocolate is in the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I found this. I was gonna make the peanut butter blossoms, which is the Hershey Kisses. When I already got my sleeve all messy. But I found this and I thought, who doesn't love a good shortbread? So, uh, the oven is, oven is preheated. I need to place melted butter and cookie mix in medium bowl, stir until dough forms. Scoop dough by rounded tablespoon and shape into one inch balls. Place two inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet. Bake 12 to 14 minutes or until light golden brown. And then when you remove from the oven, immediately place a chocolate drop on each cookie. So the only thing that I need, all the ingredients are here, is three fourths of a cup, one and a half sticks of melted butter. How wonderful. All right, let's do these up. How many is this? Oh, it's a three pack. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make the first now. I'm assuming it is one and a half sticks per package. We'll put the other two in here and save them for a couple more days. I also just want to take note on how nicely this melts. I just love Aldi's. 
I always buy from Aldi every time that I get a inkling to have a little baking and a little Olaf. You can just watch me. Every time I get a little uh, hankering to bake. Just because it's cheap, but it's effective. All right, let's pour this into here. Just put the milk chocolate one in my freezer. This is already, it's been about 10 minutes. This is already done, pretty much. And it comes out of the pan exactly like this. And then you just break it up into bark-like pieces. Doesn't have to have any rhyme or reason. Um, I pretty much just shatter it and then put it in with the cookies. So I'm going to actually keep this in the freezer for right now and wait for the other one. I could have, as you see, some of the pieces melted a little bit, but it's fine. Now I'm just putting this dough. I think what I am going to end up doing is making two of those pouches, but I'm just putting this dough. About, I'll probably make three in a row onto this pan. I'm so happy to get this done. I was going to put in music and stuff, but I thought I would just show you and talk to you guys why I'm doing this because this is one of my favorite things for to do for Christmas and the fact that Cody requested this kind of it honestly really made my day because last year I forget where his guys were but they were on a job and I don't think they had a Christmas party at least not that I know of so I'm just I guess I'm just happy to be needed is what my point is and I love baking if you guys didn't know that I haven't baked in actually a really long time uh oh that's a honor one one soldier down man down that's all right we'll get some more um, I haven't baked in a really long time so it's kind of nice and I can share some of these cookies with my family and my friends All right, we are going to go ahead and pop these in the oven and get them baking. So I went ahead and I made all three pouches. I actually was just gonna make another one, but I put two and a half sticks of butter in here. So what I did is I just left out about that much of the mix and the rest is in here. So we are gonna have a whole bunch of these, but that's okay because I like to give some of this stuff out in a way to people. So we'll just make a whole bunch. Now that these cookies, half of them are up there cooling, the other half are in the oven. Now that the cookies are in the process of baking. I'm gonna go ahead and make the avalanche cookies because this is probably the easiest thing to make. So for the avalanche cookies, to quickly tell you what I'm about to do, I melted the chocolate in the microwave. I'm about to add 15 ounces or a third of this jar to the melted chocolate. And then I'm gonna add it to the two cups of Rice Krispies. And then after that is all combined, I'm going to add a one and a half cups of mini marshmallow. Just gonna put this all together. It's a no bake cookie. It's really simple. My friend Stacy from Michigan, I will leave her channel link down below because she's the one that gave me ideas about a lot of the stuff that I'm making. So I wanted to shout out to Stacy about that. She actually just got out of the hospital. Anyway, I love her videos. Another person posts daily. I watch all of them. Um, and she always makes her employees a bunch of, you know, baked treats and stuff. So. I also will try to remember to leave the link to all the recipes that I'm using down below also. Okay, let's all combine this and then I'll show you what they look like. Take a break. A little check-in, off camera, I made chocolate fudge and I made peanut butter fudge. I'll still leave the links to the recipes that I used down below. We are just trucking along. Sienna, Skylar, and Jed used some of the extra cookie dough and they made themselves some cookies. I have so far completed 
the peppermint barks. I did the white chocolate bark and I also did the regular milk chocolate bark. We did the fudge, we did the blossoms, I did the peanut butter fudge off camera and we did the avalanche cookies. The last thing that we have to do is the Rollo cake mix. That wasn't even on my licks. The cake mix Rollo cookies. I think I'm gonna do those, then gauge what these boxes are gonna look like, and then from there, decide if we're gonna make some sugar cookies and ice them with sprinkles. So let's do the Rollos now. So I have these three on Rollo duty. I am on cake duty. We are going to put this devil's food cake, two eggs, and some oil in this bowl and make them. This recipe, actually, I looked on the internet because my sister-in-law, her mom always makes me a big thing of cookies every year and she makes these Rollo cookies and I like Googled it and I was like, how do you make these delicious things? So that's where I got this recipe from. But again, I'll use the link. I will, what am I trying to say? Put the link down below. So per the directions, you take a unwrapped Rollo and you just take a ball of dough mm -hmm. and you pretty much just wrap it around it until it forms a cookie ball and then you bake it. We will see if these turn out like hers. I guarantee you're not as good as hers. I love it because she gives me cookies every year. She gets me a tray. And it's not often that other people make me bake good, so I will take it. All right, we are gonna continue on these cookies. I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Right now, I have the sugar cookies baking in the oven. I also made some cookie icing just from powdered sugar, a little bit of milk and a little bit of vanilla extract. So I'm just stirring that up and then I'm gonna dip the cookies down in there and then put sprinkles over top of them. But I think it will be a very good, nice. So here are the containers. We're kind of just gonna get on the line. We've got avalanche cookies. We have the uh, white chocolate bark, the milk chocolate bark, the shortbread, the roll well. We've got chocolate fudge, we've got peanut butter fudge. And then we have just the sprinkled sugar cookies. So each one of uh, my husband's employees is just going to get a box filled with baked goods. All right, I'm going to fill these up and then I'll be back once I'm done. So here's the first box that I completed, just so you knew what it looked like. All right, I'm going to close these up. I am officially done and I got the kitchen for the most part straightened up, but I think what we are going to do is Cody's going to take eight of these. I'm gonna give this to one of our friends, this to the mailman, one to my dad, and then I'm not sure where the other one go, but this is all the leftover. Woo, that was four hours is what it took me. It is 7.56 and it started around like 3.56, so. I am now finally sitting down. I wanted to say goodnight to everybody. It is 8.39 p.m. I am going to end this vlog right here, and I will see you guys nice, bright, and early tomorrow morning. All right, bye everyone.